Greetings there YouTube, this is Computer Crash Zero here with your weekly tutorial. Today instead of showing you batch files, hello worlds, user input, I'm going to show you how to use the command line. We're going to be using a very simple trick on how to move, move files from A to B, source to destination, one place to another, whatever term you prefer. Now I decided to show you the command line today because I know some of you out there may be a little intimidated or scared of it. And I just want to let you know the command line is really easy to use, it's really friendly, it's also really stupid. It's not going to do anything you don't tell it to do. Now there are limitations, but those are far into the tutorials I'll be making for you. So let's hop right into this. We're going to use the robocopy command. And what robocopy is going to allow us to do is move my music here to here. So if you look at our destinations, we're going to be going to our D drive, which is a secondary hard drive, and we're going to be moving from C, user, username, desktop, music, etc. Now, we need to go ahead and open up the command prompt. So we can do that by going to start, typing in CMD, go ahead and hit enter. No need to run it with administrative privileges, not getting that fancy just yet and we're going to type in our first command which is robocopy we're going to put a space in there and we're going to grab our source which is C user username desktop music and we're going to paste it in add another space grab our destination in this case it's just the D drive go ahead and paste that in but I'm going to add another folder so I'm going to go D drive slash music and I'm going to add another folder. So we're going to go slash, I'm going to put in the name of the band, All That Remains. We're going to go space and we're going to add in two switches. What we're going to do is add in switch for E. Now this allows us to copy everything from our source. Then we're going to go space and add in the switch create. This allows us to create a folder that doesn't exist. So as you can see here in my destination, there is no folder called music. There is also no folder called all that remains. Go back to our command prompt, hit enter, and as you can see, it executed the command immediately. Now we're going to go back to our destination. We have a folder called music. Inside of that music folder is now the all that remains folder. Once we go in there, here is all of our music. And as you can see, it is a mirror copy from our source to our destination. And that's all it takes in order to move files from one location to another. Now, if you want to know more about Robocopy, you can always go to their wiki page, which I will have listed below. Or if you're feeling bold enough, go to the actual command prompt, pull it up, Type in robocopy and I believe it is going to be help. This will bring up a ton of information on the switches and what they do. So as you can see we've got source, destination, how to mirror things. And that is your quick introduction into using Robocopy with the command line. This is Computer Crash Zero, signing out.